Well, let's have a little trade, shall we? And a warm welcome to one and all. If this is your first time here, you overgrown child, that is the scruffy trade. No shop with all my toys. What I'm trying to do is kind of put trading in the real world and show you, well, that one, you can make a wage from it, two, that it's possible, and three, for my own enjoyment. Uh, I do YouTube because I genuinely need a hobby while i'm at the screens and that's what this is now youtube don't pay me a great deal of money um i'd love to think that i could be driving a rolls royce off it but that ain't happening um a couple hundred quid a month out of it and i had a query last night about my wages again uh, now i try and be as fair as i can with what i show uh, recently did like how I became what I am now and some of the sort of pitfalls I've had to overcome through my life because that's what happens. Uh, life experiences mould you. And one thing I don't like about morons who try to contact me and pull me apart is it's fine if you know the facts, but they don't. Uh, and, and that becomes an issue for me. I never step into an argument unless I know what I'm talking about. I never say anything that I haven't done or I'm not prepared to do. And in fact, if you stay to the end of this video, I'll show you something that I said I was going to do. And if you go through all the comments and sort of through my social media and you'll find all those links below, you'll see I had a little bit of a joke with Hugh. A little salute to you, my friend. And a little joke with Dusty Bin, who provided, well, what you're about to see. Um, a little salute to you, Dusty. And at the end of this video, you'll see that I carried out something that I said I was going to do. And why? Well, when you say this, because I'm a bloody idiot. <laughs> um, no, just got a, a good sense of humour. But if I say I'm going to do something, I'll carry it out. And I'd like to think I do that with the charts. Now, every morning, I tell the guys exactly what I'm doing. Now, it's up to them what they do with their trades. I don't provide a signal service. I provide the framework and the tools in order for you to learn how to trade. Now, if I flick this over onto um, my charts, I'm going to show you something. Um, just bear with me a second. Right, there we go. This is from Black Bull. All right, now... I had somebody yesterday pull me apart saying that all my wages come from um, affiliates. Well, I'm not sure whether you can see this. I'll pull this down so you can. There's my Black Bull account, and it is a live account. All right. I use this for MT5. I also have my money in IG, and I use the two. I prefer IG because I like the charts. And in response to the query that um, my charts are just random lines, they are far from random. Now, what I'm going to show you here is, is this dashboard, and I'm going to show you exactly how much Black Bull pay me. So if I go earnings, uh, we'll go the last year. So we're halfway through the year, so this is a lot. Run the report. Oh, what do you know? It's 400 Australian dollars, which is worth a knack all. So why am I showing that? It's just to show you that my wages do come from the charts. If I get little bits from here, there and everywhere, that is fantastic. And it just adds a little bit of bonus. Now, with Black Bull, when you see me sort of mention them, I'll tell you why I mention them. One, I have a friend who works there and I trade with them, so I trust them, okay? And what I do is I give it back because if anybody signs up with them and uses them, I give my time in 
free one-to-one -one membership because they paid me to do it. Now that's fair. Now $400 over the last year kind of tells you that it ain't making me rich. All right, so it kind of dispels that myth. And the 5% as well, you've seen my statements numerous times and you see why I get paid off them because I trade for them. And again, I do it off my own back. Why? Because of the membership that I have and the guys wanted to try it. And I can't speak unless I'm speaking from experience. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that kind of dispels, again, the rumors against those that are kicking it into me. And all I'll say is if you don't like what I do, just don't watch it. It's that simple. Um, doesn't make any difference to me whatsoever. I will still get paid tomorrow off the chart. So it's my little rant over and kind of dispel that. And yes, you were right, because at the bottom of your comment, you did say this will be deleted. And you're right, it was, because uh, I don't want to speak with people like that. Why? Who, who, who wants to speak with somebody that's kicking you in the balls all the time? Of course you don't. So you get removed from the contact list. So that was that. Happy days. So let us um, get back to our job. And um, what is our job today? Well, let's flick it on and we'll find out. Our job today is the DAX. Now, I've already spoke with the guys in, in the scruffs. Just pull this down so that you can see it again. This is me being transparent. You know, I can easily show you a trade retrospectively, but I don't. I tell them these before the event. It's now coming up to nine o'clock. I'll be redoing my buyer sheet again. Oh, there's the buyer sheet there. This is currently um, what it's at. That was done at eight o'clock. It was done at 7.30 this morning. Uh, there you go showing what I'm looking at and I'm looking at a buy now there's no trade on this and it does get thinned out throughout the day because this is a filter filters everything out till I zone in on something that I want now I've also backed this up and how do I back this up well it's very simple at five to eight this morning I did a video for them telling them exactly how and why I'm going to trade this oh I'm talking how and why why am I getting a coffee? The time. It's coffee time. Fantastic. Yeah. Because we all know Scruffy likes coffee. Likes Winky as well. Especially when she's bringing me breakfast. So I was looking for buys. So what I'm going to do is, um, it's not quite ready yet. I have identified an area where I think it's going to bounce. And it does look like it's bouncing. However, I think it's more likely down here somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of sit on it for a little bit. I'm going to have my breakfast and update my sheet and then come back and have a look at it. Um, and why am I di not diving in just yet? Patience is your best friend. So there we go. So let me have my breakfast and I'll come back when this is ready to trade. Um, I don't have anything running here and there is the trade you saw me do yesterday so you can see it's a follow on from the same account okay so i'll catch you in a minute well we're waiting okay guys so i'm back uh it's crouching on half past one in the afternoon and i've been doing well patience i guess is what i've been doing because i've done nothing apart from wait and that is the best tool in the bag. Now, as you saw earlier on, I made a video for the guys in the scruffs and I was going to wait for the market to come to certain levels. Well, those levels have now arrived, which are here. And why did I wait so long? Well, let's just tidy this up a bit because I've been playing with it. It's because I had a conviction and that conviction was to the upper side, but I've got to let the trade, how do I put this? 
I've got to let the trade form, I guess is the word. You can catch the quick pulses in one thing and another, but sometimes that's not good enough. And when I was watching the charts earlier on, it could have got in down here to catch this. However, I really wanted it in, in here because uh, I like to work from a zone to a zone. And what are these zones? Well, the bounce points. Now, at this moment in time, it's there or thereabouts. It's kind of coming into play now. Um, I do keep an eye on this constantly with my sheet, as you, as you know. And now what I'm looking for is a quick movement to the upper side. Um, as you can see, I've got nothing running. And sometimes you've just got to wait. And if it triggers, fantastic. If it doesn't trigger, to scratch trade. Because I'd rather wait and get in relatively safely than chase a market. Because I decided I was going to the upper side, even though this has been pushing down. And that's a good thing. Because as the market feels pain, which it, it will be at this moment in time, the snap that I'm looking for will be accelerated. So... All I'll do is I'll just leave this running. I'm going to go grab another coffee and hopefully, certainly within the next hour or so, I should be seeing signs to get in. And the other side of it is if I'm getting in, in and around here, I don't take on as much pain either in sort of letting the market run against me as long as it stays within the trading arena. Hope that makes sense anyway so had a little bit of a, a rant earlier on and what i'll do is i'll run my trade and uh, see if i can get some money out of it and then i will show you that i do carry out my word because i had a jolly old time on holiday and uh well i'll show you Okay, guys, um, we are now net positive. This is bursting up. And what I'm going to do is the second this goes red, I'm going to kill it. Kill the whole lot in one go. And why am I doing that? Because um, I've got enough money in the bag. And I want to be net positive. Now, this should be turning over the candle just soon. Right, let's have a look, see what's happening here. Right, it's holding, so we're just going to hang on. But the second it goes red, we're going to get rid of it. Why? Because I don't want to give the money back. Oh, hold on. We're pushing, we're pushing. Good, because we're on for a good pay day today. That's starting to move. Um, want to see what's going on on the other side? Just so I can see it. Pushing up, pushing up. Is it going to hold? Uh, 
possibly. I'm going to take it. There we go. We're done. We are out. Why have I done that? Well, it's been a heavy sell day, even though I was looking for a buy. And that's it. I've got no positions running now. And the whole day was 604 with a sacrifice of two, two positions. So that's not bad. I can live with that. So the Dax can kiss my rear. And so can those who were sticking it into me for the last couple of days. It was bugger me. But what have we done here? We've actually had a plan. We've stuck to it. All right, we've sat through a bit of heat. But it went to the exact zones that I was looking for. And if it had broke any further out, I was kind of on the fences to start taking half the trades off. But I thought, no, stick to my guns, carve, as you saw. And what that carving is, it's letting the market run for you, take so much of the money out. You can use the margin that's put back into your broker to reopen up another position, if you so wish. Or you can use the money that's come back into the account as a buffer against a loss. So in other words the next position you put on is effectively paid for because you've already banked the money to cover it. And that's the way I work. I start with zero, I end with one. I don't care what happens in the middle as long as when I close out at the end of the night, I am net positive. It's that simple. Does that make sense? It does. What's your version of net positive? This will be good. <laughs> And I'll tell you for why in just a second. What? Eh? What you got to do with my shopping? <laughs> it's got everything to do with your shopping because your version of net positive seems to send me rocketing to the poor house. The poor house, you wouldn't know what it is. <laughs> hey, I've, I've, I've seen hard times and you know we have. And what's it do? It makes you stupider. And what makes me stupid? Well, I'm about to show you. So. Winky knows what I did, because she dared me to do it as well. What did you do? Well, you had the camera when I was running up and down the beach with the... Uh... Oh, the mankini. What do you mean? Oh, the mankini. You show yourself up, don't you? It's nice. I thought I looked fantastic. <laughs> did, you, did you not like my little butt? I suppose people got to laugh. <laughs> you know, you're the most immature man I've ever met. Sure, but I'm not. Yes, you are. Not. Oh, God, give me strength. Sure. Uh, they did get a laugh and the joggers that ran past me at the same time, uh, they, they got a little bit more than a laugh. I think they got a shock and heart attack. Would you like to see it, boys and girls? Would you like to see what I got up to? You ding dong! I uh, had you fooled there. That that was the censored version. But here's the uncensored version. Matron, take them away. Oh. Yes. There you go, Dusty. And there you go, Hugh. And also my little friend, Martin who all sort of chipped in and took the mickey. And as I said, I never do anything that I, or I'll rephrase that. I never say anything I haven't done or say I'm going to do something if I'm not prepared to do it. So there we go. And Winky's sitting there laughing because she knows this on too many occasions. I, I, I well, actually she did, she did. In I fact, never. she did. She put the gold bikini on. It wasn't the full effect, but she did her best. She she got a gold one. And you did, didn't you? I did. You did. But she wore it just for me. I was well impressed. So, in fact, there you go. There she is. Ding dong. Gold bikini. Uh, I had a jolly old time on that holiday. So, that's what life is about. So the next time you think you're going to stick it into somebody because you're an arsehole, just look in the mirror and remember you're an arsehole and that somebody can stick it into you as well. Just be good to each other and the world becomes such a nicer place. And that's it really. That's my philosophy in life. So trade well, keep your risk managed. 
but above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.